Aphrodite, Artemis, Athena, mothers and daughters of Olympus, please lead us to safety. We can't lose anyone else. I'm none of those, but I am Cassandra, Amistheus. What's wrong? My people are in grave danger. We lost our leaders and our warriors, and now our hunters have disappeared. Hunting parties can be gone for weeks before returning. What happened to everyone else? War. The fight between Athens and Sparta has reached their borders, so the men left to offer their swords. I fear that those remaining will be lost to the sons of Xerxes. I haven't heard of the sons of Xerxes. That's quite the name. Persians left over from the Battle of Thermopylae. They have no nation except the heritage of an ancient king. But their numbers are great, and ours are not. I would not trade our roles in this situation. Though killing is my specialty, and I can hunt and track. Do you deal in advice? I don't know how to address my people. They know something is wrong, and I'm not sure what to do about it. There is no easy answer. If you were to take it one step at a time, how would you start? I can't bring back the men, or stop the sons of Xerxes by myself. I know it's a lot to ask, but can you bring them home? Even if it's just bones, we'll need to honor them. I'll look for the missing hunters. My cousin Agnodiki volunteered to look for them. She hasn't returned either. That's right.
Those bastards! Those bastards! Are you all right? Do I look all right? You survived. It's more than we can say for your companions. That was our warning. First our hunters, then the rest of the village. I need to warn our magistrate about the son of Xerxes and their plans. And I need to see her about my payment. Return. What news of Agnodeki and the hunters? Magistrate Perictioni, I have grave news. The sons of Xerxes are preparing to strike. Oh, it's you. Magistrate, this Mistio saved me from certain death. For double the reward, I hope. Finally, someone around here who knows how to use a sword. I've been trying to convince Perry to build our defenses since we first saw the sons of Xerxes creeping closer to the village. Uh. This is my sister, Thea. She considers herself to be acting general of Lalea in the men's absence. It was your husband who shielded us before. Someone must do so now. Did you hear anything Agnodiki said? If we wait on the gods for help, we will be massacred. The only language the sons of Xerxes seem to understand is violence. Mistios, what if I hired you to protect the village? I'll do what I can. Good. Meet me at Kifiso's spring. I have plans for those sons of Xerxes. Good to see your face again. Yours too. Lalea is the daughter of Kifisos, god of this spring. It's said that she lives in these pools. Thea, right? Perictioni told me you've been acting as general. Though from what I saw earlier, you and your sister don't see eye to eye. Perry would die folded in prayer before she asked for my advice. Sometimes we want a comforting voice that says everything will be okay, rather than to be confronted with harsh reality. And now we are on the knife's edge, waiting for the slaughter, and we have done nothing. I must prepare myself to fight, and hopefully the others too. Can you teach me? Your sister says you act like a general. Let's see if you fight like one. I'm ready. You there! Oh! I told you not to go easy on me. Oh! You hit hard! <sighs> well... That was humbling. The sons of Xerxes won't be as kind. No. It's a good wake-up call. One I wish Perry could have. But Big Sister always knows best. Sounds like she's always given you a hard time. <laughs> you could say that. Acting like the hero while I do the dirty work. Now you're the hero. One can only hope to live up to that title. I've been playing soldier too long, and now I'm stuck in the role of Perseus while feeling like Andromeda. A village of women abandoned by their army and forced to take up the sword? Sounds like a story worth singing to me. I don't care what songs they sing of my deeds. I care about protecting my sister and my village. If it is to my dying breath, then so be it. I will fight. Spartan women are taught to keep up with Spartan men. 
La Lea seems different. It is an oversight that I've been pushing to correct. When the men leave for war, our defenses are limited to a few hunters too valuable to leave. Or young men who can barely hold a spear. And now that the hunters are dead... We're more exposed to attacks from the sons of Xerxes than ever. I've seen kings and commanders. You share their temperament. Perry married the governor. I am unwed. Spinsters do not become leaders. We exist on the fringes. We should get back to the task at hand. There's still a lot to do. You're right. But it's hard to know where to start. I need to train the others for war, but we are without weapons and armor. No blacksmith. But his daughter is still here. What about the hunters you lost? We need to train replacements. There's also a camp close by. Likely the daughters of Artemis. They are not a friendly bunch, so we've been doing our best to avoid them. I've run into them before. I won't pry. Who should I train to hunt? I've met with some volunteers from the village. They've got a little experience, but need to have their bow arms straightened. You can find them on the edge of La Lea. Not sure how useful I'll be to the blacksmith's daughter. Metiaudusa mentioned needing some materials before she can get started. And between you and me, she needs a little push. She's been helping her father at the forge since she could walk, but she still doubts her own abilities. I'll get to it. <laughs> 